Cat directed me at the moment as we trawl backwards. So I've got this in reverse and I'm basically trawling against the tide. And what I'm doing is I'm just lifting my rod tip up so the vibe works quickly. And then just start letting the rod tip drop back down with weight on it as it sinks back through down the water column. And basically every single time we've been hit today, it's been as the rod, uh, rod tips right down near the bottom. So is the vibe sinking. We're trying to excite the fish and then slow it down so it's got enough time to grab it. Uh, another fish. Nice little um, dusky flathead on a different lure. I think just under that tree over there, if you can see it. Um, trawling backwards. <laughs> trawling backwards as Cat was in the front. Actually, I can probably show you what we're doing here at the moment. I'm gonna turn around. This is how stable this kayak is. That's Cat on the back of the kayak in, a, in another seat. Hey, Cat. And um, yeah, we've got two people easily in this kayak. And we have got, oh, oh nice flatty. So you're just gonna direct it. Yeah, just let it fight, that's it. You're gonna wheel it head first towards the net. Good girl. Oh, cat. How's that cat smile? Oh, nice flatty. Oh, he's got it right in the gills too. That was a great catch. Where'd you get him? So a nice relaxing day out here in um, Currambeen Creek and I'm fishing here with um, my beautiful girlfriend Catherine. She's on the back, that <laughs> on the back and we're just floating um, down river at the moment with the tide on its way out. It's actually nearly on the full tide out and we've caught four flatties so far. What we're doing is we've, got, we've caught every single one of them on vibes. So we're gonna keep doing that I've got a little Halco vibe on, and Kat's got, I think it's a Rapala one. And um, so far the fishing's been really good, and everywhere else, apparently, around this area, I haven't been too many other places except St George's Basin has been really slow at the moment. So, um, yeah, for some reason, we're, we're doing pretty well up here at the moment. So we're gonna see if we can get our fifth, and then we're gonna head home. Just pulled our crab trap in and we've got a muddy. So that goes to show that people have been filtering our bloody crabs because we've only had this out for what, an hour and a half cut? Yeah, and this has been in all night and we've got a massive muddy on our line. A huge muddy, which is definitely legal and definitely male. So, we are, <laughs> we have definitely got a feed for tonight. It's like we're gonna have a seafood platter. So what do you reckon? Crab, we've got freshly caught squid, got some flathead. We might grab some prawns from Woolies on the way through. What a day of fishing. How's that? You look comfortable there? Yep. <laughs> That's how set up there at the moment. So cat's on the back. We've got the seat from my, um, my other kayak that she's sitting on. That's where I'm sitting. We got two crab pots, we got four flathead, we're ready for a feast. We're just gonna pull up here and just try and fix these. Hola. She's a beauty. Awesome, so we've got a, oh, what do we get? Three or four flatty, I forget. Uh, we've got this awesome crab we're gonna have for dinner tonight. It's been an awesome episode of, um, I've said awesome a lot of times, a great episode of Water Assassin Fishing. I'm Dave and I'll see you guys next time.